Hello guys, Joy here with another review. Today I'm gonna look at the house of Davidoff. Davidoff, when you think of the name, only thing that comes to your mind is cool water, right? That's the only fragrance that most people, you know, like think of when they think of Davidoff. Uh, but Davidoff actually has a lot of good fragrances, decent fragrance I would say. Um, I'll show you as I go uh, in this review and most of their fragrances are not so expensive. So that is the best part and uh, this video I'll also uh, let you know sometimes you don't have to pay a lot of money for quality you can pay a little bit of money you can get a lot of quality in a fragrance so the fragrance I'm about to show you today it's called silver shadow this fragrance uh, got kind of lost in time it used to be kind of popular in the community once and uh, no one else talk about it really nowadays it's, it's not a new release right so I'll let you know why I think this is special juice in today's episode. So before I do that, it has a uh, silver shadow has I think in total three, if I'm not mistaken, uh, three uh, flankers. Only flanker that I own from this line is the silver shadow altitude. Totally different looking juice, blue, and it's an aqua take sort of fresh summer uh, kind of fragrance. And also there's uh, one flanker called pure. Other one is private. So the thing is, um, silver shadow has total frag four fragrances in their lineup so the thing is first of all one of the interesting fact is silver shadow line this bottle design actually inspired their special blend line like they have a blend line you guys know i have the four blend uh, uh line sorry the four in the blend line which are they look like this this is my amber blend they also have wood blend agar blend leather leather blend yeah so there are four in total and there's one more i think that's coming out i'm not sure uh, when it will be released or is it released already i don't know so the thing is this bottle inspired those bottles uh, prices on these they come in two bottle sizes 50 and 100 ml prices you're looking at around uh, say 25 give or take to 30 dollars tops if you're gonna pay retail i suggest do not pay retail look for a discounter i think they come in like a much cheaper price tag i think uh, if you're gonna go pay retail it's gonna cost you around 50 55 dollars do not do that so here you go uh, this fragrance I bought off from another community member who actually was letting go his bottle and few other bottles I have one other bottle from him as well Armani code I'll review that as well so here you go the silver shadow box very simplistic box it has a ray of light or something that's go passing through almost looks like the final destination sort of like those signs you know you see um, just you know just analyze those pictures if you watch that freaky movie or the whole series rather <laughs> Silver Shadow, Davidoff, 100 ml, this 100 ml bottle. And um, this is made by Coty, I think, yeah. And uh, they're under the license of Zeno Davidoff, okay? It, it mentions all that. And uh, it's, it's, it's from uh, Paris or, um, yeah, made in Paris under the license of uh, Zeno Davidoff, Switzerland and stuff like that. So nothing much at the side, some more information, the ingredients and everything. Bottom, you're gonna find some more of your uh, batch code and whatnot, but some of this, uh, Davidoff and Bentley fragrance I noticed with few other brands when you try to put their uh, Patch code in the check fresh. They don't really pop up so that do not let that scare you off and buy from legit source You'll be okay bottle is kind of simplistic, but I really like the design. It's pretty solid nice solid glass base at the side all around Very nice ambery uh, light amber colored juice. Okay, it says Davidoff silver shadow EDT side it has a little bit pattern going on a bit dented back you can see it's a see-through clear bottle okay and uh, i believe uh, you're gonna find your information at the back bottom here on the sticker there's a small little sticker you can find it cap is kind of snug fit looks like a coin up top but doesn't have the new uh, blend line they have this difference if you check this one doesn't have any uh, logo or anything but this one they have a david of uh, i don't know the logo whatever so nice very nice looking bottle the atomizer works very nice cap has some weight okay very aromatic fragrance okay very very beautiful fragrance let's go to sprays spray works really really fine so this fragrance uh it's classified as a uh, woody aromatic i think and uh, this one was not actually featured in my uh, top 10 uh, budget summer fragrances right so you might must be wondering if this is that good why didn't it make it uh, simply because this is not exactly a summer scent but I do wear it in summer this is mostly your uh, right between like summer and spring or winter and summer you know like transition period in between the two when it's mildly cold a little bit rainy a little bit damn day 
this fragrance works at that time perfectly you know like springtime autumn time it's amazing this juice is amazing so what you get from this is the notes in this i think they have uh, some coriander uh, some orange um, some cedar and i believe there is a uh, saffron they mentioned as well as a uh, patchouli as a few few other notes but you do not get all those notes from it and there's a little bit of touch of benzoin that gives the sweetness so the main players in this fragrance i'm gonna say is the woodiness oh sorry first of all the orangey feel <coughs> excuse me it has this orangey nice sort of a bergamotti like nice uh, orangey opening honestly speaking it's a very nice it will remind you of this one other fragrance legendary fragrance it's sort of like a mild mildly not exactly dead dead mess you can see the bottle theme kind of same also but dead dead mess is a different different uh kind of beast it's a different altogether it's a different quality uh, it's a much higher quality juice than this but dead dead mess is dead dead mess so this will remind you a little bit of dead dead mess on the opening without being uh too earthy or too dirty orange okay this is very safe and very handsome very clean and beautiful uh pleasant opening for the price you smell sniff this and you'll be like surprised you'll be caught like a little bit surprised you know you sniff it it's very aromatic it's a little bit woody and a little bit orangey and then goes uh as time goes by it loses some of its orangey feel it goes pure to the cedar you know if you like woody scents fresh wood woody scent this is like very handsome sort of like a toned down uh tear dare mess without any dirtiness okay and it, it will hold that sweetness the benzoin from the bottom it will kick the sweetness up so i think it's a pretty simplistic pretty uniform that is just two stage the orange and the cedar mixes with the benzoin okay so i think i do not get so much of herbal kick from it coriander or something maybe a little bit of a peppery kick somewhere i don't know but there there is something that gives that like there's a kick there somewhere you know it's it i'm not exactly sure where it's coming from but it's a nice fragrance it's a very nice masculine uh, not too masculine not too loud if you're thinking of this other fragrance that it also looks like it mainly for men intense much much toned down than this this is a beast this is strictly winter i wouldn't recommend this for summer so this fragrance who is it for this anyone can wear this you can write up from school all the way to working man retired man if you're working at any profession it's not going to offend anybody it doesn't really jump out of your skin very handsome very clean aromatic scent which doesn't project so much it's just soft projection longevity is quite okay solid in this i get about four or five hours from this on a summer's day i think in the cooler month it will last a little bit longer like five to six hours pushing but it's not going to be a beast ever so it's going to be better than average like let's say on average if you take out the whole year out of 10 it will be like a uh, longevity will be seven projection will be like 5.5 to 6 max versatility very good you can wear this throughout the whole year even if it gets hot you know it doesn't really become very point so it's very versatile it's like fragrance so out of 10 maybe eight smell of it for the price you pay guys you know like this is the this is the best part of it to me most important thing is the smell and right after that is presentation presentation wise if you pay less than 30 dollars for a 100 ml bottle like this i don't think you should be complaining and uh, for the whatever i told you just now if you get all that from this fragrance i think this is a solid buy you know if you're looking for a budget option and everything if you're looking for a signature scent something to start with you're not looking to spend so much more money than 30 dollars this is an awesome fragrance for that okay but i'm not saying this is groundbreaking it will smell like many other fragrance in the market because they have this dna in many designer fragrance today right uh, so it doesn't go overboard it's very uh you know it's from where it is from the standpoint where it is from its price point and uh, it's a very decent release it's a very nice fragrance it's not a must buy you know even if you have so many other fragrances but you're looking for this casual friday sort of fragrance david of silver shadow right so check out this fragrance it it, it may work for you try to get a sample try to uh, sniff this fragrance i think it, it it works with so many people out there i think many of you when you start your collection or journey you definitely had taste of silver shadow so it's a classic it's a classic all right and i think uh, this is a winner so overall like counting everything you know all the price point and the performance smell everything i'm gonna give this eight out of ten very solid fragrance uh david of silver shadow and very underrated no one talks about this fragrance i just go back in history i just dig something up right so yeah i think that's all for david of silver shadow beautiful bottle beautiful juice smells really nice i think it will garner you compliments but not just crazy sexy compliments not a sexy fragrance it's a handsome fragrance okay handsome casual beautiful david of silver shadow take care guys i'll talk to you soon so many other fragrances coming good night from Dhaka, bangladesh bye bye